Jason Gilbo here at Fantasy Football Cafe, taking a look at the San Diego Chargers today, and definitely a few things to talk about. Um, this team's, you know, always been loaded with talent um, for a long time now, and, and you know, that's still going to be the case in 2015. And there's still some question marks around a few of these guys. Uh, looking at Melvin Gordon here first, taking a look at, you know, big time upside here with a rookie rookie running back. Uh, drafted him first in the first round out of Wisconsin there for the Chargers, traded up to get him. Um, they really haven't had a, an established running game since LaDainian Tomlinson, and uh, we could be reigning in a new era here for San Diego in, far, you know, in terms of, of running backs. Um, you know, he was a big workhorse at Wisconsin, and uh, while well, he does have some issues hanging on to the ball, uh, the downfield speed issue is a little bit too, um, you know, finishing off those monster runs in the NFL may be slightly different from, from college level. Um, but still a very talented back who's primed for a, a solid NFL career. Um, you know, you got to like his upside, not only in terms of this season, but, you know, all around. Um, he's probably the highest rookie I'm confident in, uh, a rookie running back. Todd Gurley, just not sure about the health yet and how they handle him. Um, and I'm really locked in as him him being a solid RB2 for the season. I think you're going to see a 1,000 yards um, roughly around that mark and uh, five to six touchdowns or so. Um, you know, definitely with some upside, um, you know, if all goes well, um, you know, it's nice walking, he's walking into one of the better situations where Rivers is there, um, to balance things out. They got a pretty nice offense, uh, decent line. Um, you know, Danny Woodhead's going to cut into the carries, um, or cut, cut into the receptions there, just being, being the receiving back Gordon that not really his forte, um, so there's not really a lot of upside there for PPR leagues, um, you know, Woodhead's kind of got that locked down there. So, uh, passing game, you know, it's been very consistent over the last few seasons, um, you're, you know, quite, a, quite longer than that, actually, with Phillip Rivers, you know, leading the way. Um, look at last season, Phillip Rivers really jumped out to a great start, 20 touchdowns, only five picks, um, just throwing up monster, monster, monster games, and, uh, you know, and then he had 11 touchdowns and 13 picks over the last eight games of the season, uh, so a disappointing way to finish it. Um, but that's actually been the case a couple times with Rivers, where his, his down the down the, the season stretch is not great, and whether it's in, they're always locked in the battles, going into the the AFC West, they're trying to win the division from the Broncos or Chiefs. Um, you know, they do has, does face some tough defenses, um, and he hasn't really gotten over that hump. Um, but you know, Philip Rivers is always on on par for thirty touchdowns and four thousand yards. Um, he's been that way for a long time. Um, just depending on where he gets on the week to week consistency is an issue at times. Um, you know, but you could kind of say that about all the guys around him in that area, but I still like them behind Eli Manning, Tom Brady, uh, and Ryan Tannehill. Those are kind of three guys I rank just slightly above them, even though they're all really closely, you know, packed together. Um, re receiving core really quite frustrating last season for me. Um, of course, Keenan Allen, is a little sophomore slump didn't do that well, 783 yards and just four touchdowns. Uh, Malcolm Floyd, 856 yards, six touchdowns, but then he would go missing. You know, he's that deep ball thread. He really relies on those big plays to to make him fancy worthy for that week. Um, so the consistency wasn't there, and I'm not a big fan of that. Um, you know, I'd rather take the risk as a wide receiver three, playing in deeper leagues, trying to trying to hope for that from Floyd um, as well as PPR. Um, you know, definitely he has some worth there. Um, at times, just being a, a top two wide out on the team. Um, you know, I think it's going to be the same type of season for Floyd, but I'm definitely counting on Allen to have a bounce back season. So, uh, Steven Johnson replacing Eddie Royal could also be uh, has some impact. Definitely moving up from one of the you know Johnson's been in two really bad situations, um, but he thrived in, in Buffalo being a, a solid fantasy wide receiver. Um, you know, then towards the later years, not not so much just due to what was going on, um, and then with Kaepernick, uh, not much going on there. So, I think you know you definitely could see some some. Uh, revival of, of fantasy value from Stevie Johnson. So definitely got to keep keep an eye on um, either late in drafts if you feel like people are catching on or uh, within the first few weeks with, you know, picking up as a waiver wire guy. Uh, Antonio Gates, another monster season last year, 12 touchdowns, 800 yards, going to start off 2015 with a four-game four suspension. Uh, giving away to Ladarius Green, who's been kind of sitting in the wings for a long time. And, um, you know, I think Ladarius Green's going to put up uh, decent numbers in the first couple of weeks, um, but then eventually the Rivers-Gates combo is going to work its way back in for the rest of the season. He's going to be back shelved behind him. 
Um, that's going to be my guess of what happens. So it's, it's creating a buy low chance for Antonio Gates. Um, I think that's the way to look at it right now. Um, but I guess you can make a case for a buy low just given Green's hype behind him is when he's going to get this chance. So um, both buy low options though. Rivers enters the season once again as a top 12 QB. Definitely going to finish there. Uh, running game um, definitely going to click within the next few years is really an established one but I think you're going to see a lot of value here early Keenan Allen Malcolm Floyd both pretty good targets um, I think by low by low on Gates is probably the best option here um, just with what's going on so plenty of options out there in San Diego